Welcome to FX Options University, recorded live at the International Securities Exchange, the world's largest equity options exchange. Join the industry's top trading professionals as they provide insight and strategies for trading in the currency markets using FX options. FX options are a low-risk alternative to hedging currency moves in any market condition. Okay. We're not done yet. Now, the Greeks change, and I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on it. This is more of an advanced topic, and, you know, uh, usually after these presentations, I uh, have, have people who talk to me and want to inquire about how I teach my mentoring students, and I'll give you some contact information at the end if you're interested. But this really is something that I'd be more inclined to talk about with mentoring students, but let me just kind of throw this out there. I've already talked about moneyness, and moneyness is just a fancy term for how in the money or how out of the money an option is. As options get more in the money or out of the money, theta in vega gets smaller. That is to say, at the money options have the highest theta in vega. And deltas changes, moneyness changes too, and, and that's measured by gamma. We've already covered that. Now, time also affects options. As time passes, in or out of the money option, deltas move away from 50. That is, they move, if they're out of the money, they move closer to zero. If they're in the money, they move closer to 100. And as time passes, vegas get smaller. <clears throat> How about volatility? An increase in volatility will cause the deltas of all option to, options to tend towards 50. A decrease in volatility will cause the deltas to tend away from 50. Higher implied volatility means higher theta. And again, like I said, I talk about this with my mentoring students, and, and there's a whole bunch of, of, of other little quirks like this that uh, need to be discussed to really run the gamut. But, you know, just here's a couple ideas that, to keep in the back of your mind. Okay, so, you know, that's the basics, and... I realize it was it was probably, you know, kind of a lot to talk about, but let's kind of take a real realistic look at this. And let's see how somebody might really think about using this to in their forecasts when they want to create an option trade or also to manage their option trades. So we're looking at CDD here. That's the Canadian dollar contract here at ISE. <clears throat> and what do we have here? CDD is trading at 101.90. And we look at a chart, okay? We're looking to make a trade today. We look at a price chart and we see, okay, it's come down a little bit. You know, it was uh, quite a bit higher, really in the beginning of February. And let's just say, and look, if I lined up 10 traders, we get 10 different forecasts here. And my job today is not to teach technical analysis, so I'm just making a very blanket statement forecast here without, uh, you know, I could really argue this both ways. But let's just say we're looking for a bounce here. We think it's oversold, and we think the currency is going to make a little bit of a comeback. And again, I'm not saying I do think that. I'm just saying let's say we think that. Well, we might want to buy a call if that's the case. We might want to buy a call if that's the case. And if we do, we need to consider a lot of things. We need to consider, well, how far do I think the Canadian dollar might rise? And... How long of a period do I think it might take? And what's the volatility forecast look like? There's really a lot to consider. That's what makes options unique. That's what makes them different than just trading the currencies. And in my opinion, that's what makes them better. A, they're more interesting, but, you know, most traders don't care about interesting. They care about profitability. But really, it makes you able to tailor your risk makes you able, ideally, to get more profit potential and lower risk. <clears throat> and if you watch all these things, and if you pay attention to it and use the Greeks to, in your forecast, you're going to be a whole lot better off than somebody who doesn't. <clears throat> so 
So, you know, am I looking for a one-point rise? If I am, you know, these are just about a 50 delta, it'd make about 50 cents. Am I looking for a three-point rise? Then I'm thinking about making a buck 50. Actually more, because if I'm buying the option, gamma's going to help me out. And what about theta? Do I think this move might happen over a day? Hey, if so, that's great. I only lose two cents. Or do I think it's going to happen over 26 days? Well, if that's the case, I'm going to lose a whole lot more than my two cents theta. I'm going to lose a lot. What about vega? Is this a high implied volatility or a low implied volatility? Well, this presentation isn't on volatility analysis. I mean, you know, some of my webinars for my students are on volatility analysis. And, you know, you do, you do have to get a little acclimated to that because sometimes volatility can be really high and if it comes down, you know, here it's a, it's a 10 cent vega, almost 11 cent vega, you know, if implied volatility was a couple points too high, you know, you could lose, you know, 20 cents or something on volatility falling. If you're only paying a buck for these calls, you know, that's 20%. <clears throat> so you need to look at all three of these things. <clears throat> now, I did have a question and it said, uh, could you please go back to moneyness? Yeah. <clears throat> well, here's the thing. When, when any of the factors that affect the price of an option change, the Greeks change a little bit. And one of them is moneyness. And, and, and moneyness is just a fancy word for how in the money or out of the money an option is. Like right now, a stock could be five bucks in the money, or excuse me, a currency could be five points in the money. If the currency falls in value, then the call might only be four points in the money. It's moneyness changes. Now, when moneyness does change, <clears throat> uh, the deltas change, and that's measured by gamma. <clears throat> and your theta, uh, your theta might change too. At the money options have the highest theta. In or out of the money options have lower thetas. Same with Vega. At the money options have the highest Vega. In and out of the money options have lower Vegas. So that's how moneyness plays into this. <clears throat> um, okay. Uh, I, I'm, Dave has a question here, and I'm going to get to that in just one second. Um, in fact, I'm going to open this up for, for uh, questions in just a second here. Um, so Dave, I haven't forgot about you. Stick with me one second. So anyway, I, I just want to give a little bit of closure to this part of the presentation before I do the Q&A. You know, Greeks are the tools of the trade for traders. And the next step really is, is to learn how to use them. You know, knowing what they are is, is half the battle. But really getting good at using them, you know, that's, that's where you really get a chance to shine. And, you know, it's just like anything else, like, uh, you know, like a, I don't know, explorer uses a compass, you know, just knowing, oh, well, this little thing points north, okay, that's great, you know, that, that helps you. But really understanding, you know, how you use that to get around, well, then you're miles ahead of people who don't know how to use it. Um, and I, I told you that I would give people who are interested in learning about my mentoring program uh, a chance to contact me. Real quick, here's what it is. When you sign up for my mentoring program, you get nine one-on-one -on -one personalized mentoring sessions, which includes an initial assessment and then eight one-hour personalized educational sessions. And they're tailored just to you. I, I give you a test, basically, to find out who you are as a trader. <clears throat> and then I, I skip over all the things you already know, and I work on the things that you need to know so that you get the most bang for your buck. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. Get trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary. Visit www.fxoptions.com. ISE FX Options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise. <laughs>